In this problem, we have a charged mass that is in equilibrium due to three forces. There is the electric force, which is QE, the force of tension in the string, we'll call FT, and the force of gravity, MG. And we're asked to find the charge on the ball and the tension in the spring. So I'm going to draw the components for those forces. And we'll do the x and y components in equilibrium in order to solve this problem. So the electric force has an x component ai hat. So I'll draw the electric force would be q times a, because charge times electric field is electric force. Its y component is q times b. Force of gravity is on the y-axis, mg. And then the force of tension also has two components, one being the cosine and one being the sine. And that appears to be reversed, but it's because we're given the angle with the vertical, not the horizontal. And so the horizontal component is sine, the vertical component is cos. Okay, so this will lead to two equations for equilibrium in the x direction. Forces to the right must balance forces to the left. So QA is FT sine theta. And in the y direction, we have that FT cos theta plus QB must equal MG. Now we have two unknowns, FT and Q, but we have two equations. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to eliminate FT. So I'm going to rewrite this x equation as FT sine theta. I'm just going to put those on the opposite sides. And I'm going to rewrite the y direction as FT cos theta is mg minus qb. Now I'm going to divide the x equation by the y equation so that FT cancels out. So when I divide, I get that sine theta over cos theta is equal to QA divided by MG minus QB. And this allows me now to solve for Q. So I would have MG minus QB all times tan theta is equal to QA. Okay, now I can factor out this Q. I'll have a B tan theta and an A of the same sign, and then the MG is on the other side of the equation. And so writing the expression for Q, I get MG divided by B tan theta plus A. And notice that our answer for Q has all the letters that were given in the problem. We're given M, we're given A, B, and theta, and so that's fine for Q. Now we'll go back to the x direction equation to find ft, because that's the simplest one. So back to x direction. And we had that ft sine theta was equal to qa. And so ft is equal to qa divided by sine theta. So subbing in Q, I have MGA over sine theta times B tan theta plus A. And I could probably make that just a little bit nicer by dealing with that sine and tan together. So I'd have FT is MGA and sine times tan is just cos B cos theta plus a sine theta. And that's the answer for FT.